is up YouTube. Mitch here at the Squash Northwest YouTube channel and today we're doing some demoing and <clears throat> we're not just talking today. All right. So I'm bringing you guys along. I got enough comments on the last one about even if it's boring, just bring you with us. Bring. I said that wrong, didn't I? Yeah. Yep. Sure did. So I got to find a place to set you up and uh, just watch me go to work. Yeah, it's fun. This is what we're doing. I already started taking the floor out. We got uh, that guy's out of there. We got the, everything ready for the dryer. So that's where the dryer plug is. We're out of our own cord. Got all kinds of fun stuff going on there. Got the vents going outside. We installed all kinds of stuff, man. We've got some fun. So let's go for a little walk first before we get this, before I set you guys down. So another thing we did is we don't have street lights, which I think is kind of awkward, but oh well. So my dad for my birthday built me, look how high that is. We have our own street light comes on at dark and it's amazing I'll show you how we did it we just <clears throat> anchored her right into the concrete and built the pole going straight up and up and up and up yeah she's up there pretty good the other thing we installed that day i should have brought that along for this because i've tried something i've never done before and it was actually pretty cool we got a ring camera yeah I just got an alert on my on my watch and my phone, and it says, "Hey, someone's in front of your camera." Yeah, it's me. Yep, the picture is unbelievable. The quality, love them. Ring cameras, 100%. Easy as heck to install. How do we install it? You might ask. So, <clears throat> I'm supposed to go into that. You take the light off. You plug that in. And that wires right up. Really easy. I didn't want it there. Didn't feel right to me. Wanted it there so that I could watch with cars. Yeah. So we took a plug, just an extension cord. The same wires in the extension cord are in the back of the camera. So wired it up, plugged the extension cord in, boom, done, installation. And as long as it's near Wi-Fi, it'll work. So easy installation highly recommend the ring cameras very very good quality so now we are going to uh we are going to set you guys up if i can finally set you up so i can get to work i might just put you on the ground why not works for me i got a tripod on this thing might as well use it probably the best angle i'm going to get anyways yep that's gonna have to work so Time to get to work. It's gonna make me look tall. <laughs> I'm like six five. Okay. Calm down. All right. Let's get a little warm in here. It's chilly this morning. It's getting warm now. So let's shred some clothes. Shit. There's no R in that. All right. Pick up a shovel. Out. So I'm using this little tool my dad made to get. To get up our ceiling, our tiles, and it turned out pretty nifty. So I'm using that to kick some of the floor up, and then a shovel to so go even further. I'm not doing much in the kitchen. I just wanted to see. We have a really bad soft spot right by the door, and I just kind of wanted to see it. So I might not go too far in the kitchen today. But all the comments say to record it, even if it's boring. To me, this stuff is boring, but some of you guys want to watch it. So now you get to watch it. Could like play some cool, awesome music while I do it. Oh, well, woman's in the background playing music, but hopefully you guys can hear it because it'll probably demonetize this video. That's okay. Some of these it doesn't work for. So you gotta grab the shovel. Most of them are just kind of like, what do you call that? Like, like when some point plank goes in like that. I don't know how, how good you guys can see me. So it goes in like that. But some of them are glued down, like this one. Glued in trouble. Yeah. And Dale. That's what you get. Once you get one or two. 
They come up pretty easily. As you can see, ones that aren't glued or nailed down come up extremely easily. I like this. I'm gonna get that light and extension cord out of here. Is this uh not for screws? Oh, why? Okay. So this is just a nut and bolt screw. Yeah, I need a hammer. Like a hammer with the back part of it to pry. Mm -hmm. I have lots of hammers. I don't know if I have one with the. It's one that we use with. Uh, I don't know where so it is. I get the cabinets out. I don't know where we put it. My dad rearranged a bunch of stuff in here too when he was in here. Found it. Oh, beautiful. Good. <clears throat> yep, there's all kinds of moisture down. Feel it. Probably where the stench was coming from. I think a lot, I guess. Get all these cords out of the way. All my extension cords. Hear you and they're breaking shit. What? Is that you? What? Did I make that noise? I didn't make any fucking noise. That was you, fool. And they're breaking shit. Oh, no. The panel? Oh, yeah, it fell off. Yep. That's not on there very good. Try to blame that on me. Did you see that shit? Oh, see that stuff? Go no curse it. One of my subscribers suggests that we did a YouTube live, and I tried to do YouTube live, and my phone said that we are setting up YouTube live, and it wouldn't be available for 24 hours, so I don't know what that means. So for now, we're just start with videos, which is fine. Videos are fun. This floor feels pretty solid, so that's kind of nice. Why do they use the glue? It's supposed to just plank in, set down, done deal. Glue is unnecessary. So unnecessary. We have to work hard, breathe hard, sweat. I don't like doing that. Nope. That's not gonna work because your shovel's too long. Get out of it. Ah.
wood that needs to be replaced. I guess I can get the rest of the kitchen stuff. Might as well, I'm right here. Kill it! Same for Natalie. Natalie loves spiders. So the whole point, the main point of doing this is right here. So probably hard to see on camera, but right here you can see the rotten wood right there. It sinks in. So that hole, you can see it separate right there. So that whole sheet of wood will have to be replaced, but that's just subflooring. That's pretty simple. We can do that pretty easily. But yeah, that'll be one of the projects we do when we get the uh, kitchen going. But you can see in just that little bit of time, got a lot of the flooring up. And then next will be all that area over there. <coughs> and then what'd you do? What'd you You spent more my no. Red Bull? Man, yeah. killing me. I'm going right now. I'm taking YouTube with me. So let's see what she's doing. See if you have to yell at her or not. Oh, she has music playing. She has to do this fast. Yeah. Floor's up. About to get that out. Probably change out that light fixture too. I gotta block that thing off. But all the cabinets are gone, so that's nice. I like that. We gotta rip that shower out too. That'll be fun. So that is the plans for today. <coughs> and... We'll probably just keep the camera rolling like it was, like as if I was doing a live, and just keep you guys along with us. Um, but we're gonna get reset back up in the bathroom because that's where we're gonna be doing stuff next. So I will see you guys in a second. All right, ran into a problem. Can you see it in there? Not really. So we're gonna take in the sink out right now, and oh, I'm just gonna take you with us. So, all these are on constant water. Water has to be on for any of it to work. And we've been using the toilet. We can't use any of it to turn the water off to disconnect all of these things. So I either A, have to find plugs of some kind to use or cap it off. And both don't sound fun at all. So we're just gonna rip it out and figure it out later. So, like I said, I was going to bring you guys along, set you on this piece of wood right here. Hopefully you guys can see some stuff we're doing. Hopefully if my camera won't drop, that'd be really awesome. So, enjoy. See if I can rip this thing out of here. <clears throat> oh yeah, she and her good. Yup, that's in there pretty tight. I don't think it's gonna come up like the cabinet did. I can't get those off. Okay. 
Yeah, that'll work. Cool. You bitch. Oh, excuse the language. Sorry. Got it. Okay. Now the fun begins. I gotta disconnect this water. Get out of there. <laughs> oh, that's literally just. Watch this. So I'm lifting this guy up so I can break it on that side. Doing so, I'm trying to see if I can't see it. I hit this, it comes off. That is just being held on by a screw, literally just hanging like that. Yep, fantastic. That's fun. I love people. Why not just install it? And it is a copper line. That is good. We found something good finally. You know what? What? I know you don't know a lot about house stuff. No, no, no. This is from questions for you. Not you. Question for house stuff. Not Why old? Yeah, actually, that is a perfect thing. Yes. But what makes me excited about that being a copper line? Because we don't want running water. You can easily scope it out. Where's that going to go now? Oh, those got to be replaced. Huh. Water cap. Easy. Yay. Sink disassembled. Now it's all about this little box. It's also extremely poorly made. I know I can use tools, but these are the best tools, hands down. Just rip it off, man. I ain't trying to save it. When it out. Screwdriver. I need one tool. Mainly to pry. Because those screws are just put into this cheap wall. That's it. Okay, so, success, that's done. Now, 
as you can see this part I'm taking my gloves off so the camera will be a little shaky my bad this part is done now you can see the vanity is gone she's got one that she has put in her cart that she wants to put here so we'll have a nice neat new little bathroom vanity and then this side is where the washer is going to go because there's already a pre-line right there two pre-lines so I might as well use them and then some type of cabinetry up here that'll be that shouldn't be too hard to do we might not we might just paint it make it look pretty leave it that way why is my my base is all messed up on this thing there we go that's a little bit more stable <laughs> You guys might have just saw a 360 spin right there. <laughs> You're welcome. And <clears throat> next, might try to figure out this shower installation thing that they did. Um, very, very interesting. If you watch some other videos, I want to detail as to what I thought they did. And I'm pretty sure I'm correct. <laughs> We're about to find out here in a second. So, we will find out. That's eventually going to come off. We'll do some nice, fancy thing up there for lighting, I'm sure. <clears throat> Plus, a mirror. A mirror would be really nice in here. Hard to get ready without a mirror, right? So, that'll be next. Maybe put a cabinet on that wall, depending on how much room is left over once we get the vanity in here. And that might be something else we look into. So, all right. I'm going to turn you guys off for a little bit, and I'm going to try to figure out this tub and shower situation but just like you guys asked i'm bringing you along not just talking the whole time watching me work i feel like it's boring but hey it's what you guys wanted so that's what we're gonna do and uh yep clean the toilet up you know if i can't use it unless i cap those lines off better and we will see so stay tuned all right welcome back youtube so <clears throat> realized the camera wasn't on my fault um yeah we got it out just like I thought it was. It's literally was a shower insert. It's outside. I mean, I can go show you the stuff outside. And it was literally blocking a window. Why, people? Another weird thing. Love it. So, this will help us get some airflow in this son of a bitch if I don't break it. Nope, we're going to leave it. And so now we got access to all this. And then... The shower insert thing is out and like I said you should have seen how they installed it it was fantastic next is probably the tub if I can get to it I don't know this one yet I might wait for my dad for this one um, it's a metal tub it looks like so that's not bad um, which means it's light I like that a lot well, that's not porcelain or nothing crazy heavy material but yeah demo of the bathroom is pretty much done this is how it looks now. There's no water heater over there, obviously, yet. We just haven't picked one up. Um, I just can see if I can't find a way to use the toilet while still having water running. Because i got to block those off. So, that sounds like fun. I'm uh, pretty sure I can do it. But, I just got to think about it first. And then, these ceiling tiles are going to come off just because they're ugly no other reason most of them are not in bad condition they're just ugly and get some painting done maybe we got to clean these walls of course that is a priority for sure and then new light fixtures a mirror a vanity all kinds of fun stuff in here but i'll let you guys know if anything new happens give you an update Turn the camera on and off. It's fun. Oh, stay tuned. All right, we're back. So it's been some time has passed since our last video when we were in the bathroom. <clears throat> we went to Home Depot and did some stuff, priced some stuff up. And uh, yeah, it was pretty crazy. It was fun though. It was nice to go ahead and look at the difference, what we're going to do with flooring. We picked out flooring. We picked out paints. We picked out a lot of stuff. Vanity for the bathroom. Um... Pretty much everything you can think of. So this is the, some of the stuff we got done today. The flooring we ripped up mainly because I wanted to see 
how soft the floor is right here and it's pretty bad so all this stuff flooring is going to come up i'll rip the rest of that out when i get more time but all of this chunk right here when we remove move this guy is going to be turned up and removed so that's going to be something we're doing plus we're going to be ripping these cabinets out get all that going and just get uh, everything ready for when we buy all our big haul from the, the Home Depot. So I'll now show you guys what we did in the bathroom, which we made pretty good progress in the bathroom. And that was a fiasco to say the least. And <clears throat> this is where we're at in the bathroom. So I got everything ripped out. The vanity that was right there, which wasn't even a real vanity. It was kind of like some home built thing it was pretty poorly done and so you guys saw some of the demolition on that and then I didn't bring you guys on this demolition but that was that was crazy man just like what they were thinking I don't understand when they built this first off they covered the window like the window being open now you can feel the air coming in it's natural lighting it just it's especially near water like you want airflow when you have water anywhere Siri knock it off I'm trying to talk so this is going to be coming out to this tub and we're going to figure out how we're going to do this i want a flat shower but with the way this piping is and everything i don't know how that's going to work i'm going to rip this tub out when i get a chance probably next weekend when i'm actually off all weekend so i can actually see what's underneath this thing and just see which route we can go how i'm going to route all this piping i wouldn't mind leaving this part because that's pretty much the height of the shower that we're going to have because luckily i'm short and i don't need to raise this up any higher than it already is so that might stay um, i'm going to remove this pipe because i'm going to get a new one whenever i get our new system going and then how we're going to do the water heater wires and all that stuff should be pretty simple plus i got to measure out this spot and just see how the water heater is going to sit in here um, so that'll all be another video because I want to bring you guys along for all this stuff. I'm getting, hopefully getting better at all this. Plus one thing I didn't open the video with, like I told everybody I was going to, um, like subscribe, comment, all the fun stuff to help the channel and the algorithm and the analytics. And yeah, that really helps us out a lot. So please don't forget to do that. Um, I know I'm supposed to open the video with that. I forgot my bad i'm getting a little rusty it's been like two weeks since we did a video i need to make a video every week i know i'm bad at it i'll, I'll get better i promise um but this cabinet was ripped out as well i don't guys remember that cabinet go back and watch the other videos it was a, just a nasty dirty old cabinet with some weird window thing they built in it i don't know maybe like trying to be like a submarine or something i don't know what the heck they were trying to do like a submarine window thing <clears throat> rip the flooring out so that we can get better access at the flooring you can see they made a patch here at one point and once again very very poorly done um they tried to hide it with that flooring obviously and yep it's gonna show eventually so we gotta clean this wall up i gotta find studs I gotta rip this section of the wall off. You can see, I want you to probably hear it or see it. It bows really bad. So that's something else I'm gonna have to take care of. I'll just cut this wall off and see what's behind it and see what's causing it to do that. Probably water damage, if I had to take a wild guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So that is the gist of what we got done today. Um, one of the other big things we got to do in a lot of these rooms is rip these old ceiling tiles out. They're just ugly. And I don't know why they didn't do that before because they did it in one room in the master bedroom, the old master bedroom. And that ceiling is really nice. Like why not do the rest of the house that way? You started it, might as well finish it. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Crazy. Weird as hell to me. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to curse. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much what we got done today. I am going to finish this video and uh, do a couple of shorts. It's probably the goal. And then call it a day. 
it has been a eventful day. We got a little bit done. We just got done cooking dinner and I was like, oh yeah, I got to finish a YouTube video. Duh. Um, I have to get these videos out for you guys. First off, not only for you guys to watch, but to keep up my video content so that we can get monetized. That is obviously our goal. And then continue from there and just keep doing this because our goal is to just keep doing YouTube and do whatever you guys want us to do so that we can pump out videos and just uh, keep pushing forward in this adventure of YouTube. And we're enjoying it and we hope you guys are as well. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I don't know how long it's going to be. I know I left the camera on earlier when I was ripping up the floor. And I don't even know how long it was. It's like 15 minutes. It wasn't something crazy. It wasn't anything crazy. So I'll piece all these videos together. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Once again, please like and subscribe. Comment on the videos. And we will see you in the next one.